Hello and hey to mess around with golf with your friends. This time going to be an updated Oasis guide for 2021. Had more than a couple comments telling me that this guide was slightly out of date. Some shots don't work. They go through walls now. So we're going to try to adjust this to a little bit more of a par seeker friendly type of guide and we'll get right underway. Hole number one, go ahead and aim at this palm tree at three and a half power, kind of anywhere on it. It's not a very specific shot. Can't really get close to a hole in one as of yet. So we will go ahead and get a very simple, very safe first shot with a just over one power or one power exactly directly at the flag pin for an easy two. Hole number two, we can go either full power back at the last pin, or we can just, just about one power, just a little bit more than one power, a little bit under one power, and is a little bit riskier because we will just kind of flop off this edge, but it is a quicker shot than the full power aforementioned attempt. Hole number three, we're going to go ahead and aim directly forward at three power, and when I say directly forward, I mean ever so slightly to the left of the center line, but basically the smallest increment that you can be. It is a little bit safer that way, that way we don't chance an extra hit and get offline. Hole four with a bunch of weird bounces. I found that the best course of action is to turn around completely and go just under full power. The power is surprisingly not specific for this shot because of the little tip that you see us go at the top of that mountain. Easy hole-in-one, except not so much for collision. Hole number five, there's a little crack on this ramp down here. We'll aim directly at it, going full power. And for the follow-up effort, we want to go ahead and aim uh, about three-quarters of a tile to the flag pin's right at just under three power. It's a completely safe shot. We go this speed so that we stay in no matter what. And we get it to go. Hole six. This shot has never changed over the course of the game, and I love it. The bottom of that ramp down there, two tiles from the right, the bottom left-hand corner. About three and four-fifths, five-six power. Just kind of smack it. It'll bounce off a couple of walls and safely down into the bowl for a hole-in-one. Hole seven, there's a little hieroglyph on the wall here. I like to get my point of my cursor just off to the left of that. Full power. Go ahead and let her rip. For the hole in one. Hole eight can be a little bit tricky if you go full power and just the, again, ever, ever so slightly to the left of dead on straight. You have a chance of a hole-in-one, and now that we can get a hole-in-one without having to do a specific dunk shot, much, much better. Hole number nine. Don't be too confused by my shot count. Uh, there's a new way to kind of fly out of the course, so I wanted to kind of find any possible workaround for that. Find a first shot that works for you and adjust your second accordingly. One that's working well for me right now is full power at the point that you saw me shoot there. And I, I usually, usually end up around this spot for which we will go ahead and aim just about two and a half power, aiming to the opposite side of the flagstick of the course that we are on. That one could be a little bit tricky, just want to warn you, but it'd be an easy enough three if you can get over there for the par. Hole 10, the uh, sort of upper level, has the block that kind of ends right there, we're just aiming directly at that part, maybe a touch to the right to make it even more straight on. Just full power, let it rip. And from here, we go just over three power, aiming directly at the flagstick. Gets us down for the birdie. Hole 11, the crazy off the palm tree, get over there in one shot. Hole in one seems to be gone, which is kind of a good thing. We're going to go ahead and aim with this brush, give you a little bit better look at it. This brush over here, full power. And we're going to do a couple of jumps. You could jump and make it a little quicker right there, but you don't have to. 
because we're going to need a pre-jump and then an actual jump. We pre-jump right before it takes a left-hand turn here, and then we jump again. You can technically bounce off of the corner to get closer to the hole, but don't need to go for it. Just get on here. About a three-quarter of one power for a simple, easy birdie. Hole 12, one of my least favorite holes probably in the game, and you guys are not going to like me for this shot, but we're going to go ahead and power up to about three and three quarters, aiming at a pretty specific point of aim. We need to hit off the straight portion and not the curved portion of this wall. That way we stay on this side of the hump. If you miss it, go ahead and hit back over this side unless you want to deal with that rotating platform. And then the second shot is, again, a pretty, pretty specific shot. Three and four fifths, five, six type of area. Kind of just trying to fit in this area. It'll be an easy three if you can get it over there. The power is a little bit touchy. It's not the easiest hole. Work with it. Hole 13, we go about one and three quarters power aiming at this spot. Use a little uh, fake hole in the distance, that little pyramid shape on top of the wall. Obviously, you need to go when the wall is up. And then my point of aim now has become uh, sort of in between Gingy's legs, a little gingerbread man on top of the Sphinx at just under three power. If you end up in a slightly different spot, you will need to adjust that shot. Obviously, that one can be a little bit trickier than it seems as well. But an easy two for an eagle. Hole 14. This one probably should be a par 5, even more so than the hole 12 with the rotating platform, but that one could be as well. Anyway, for the first shot, we're going to go ahead and go 3 power, or just just under. Wait for the mouth to be open, of course. This has been putting me in slightly different positions every time I do it, so the second shot can be a bit tricky. If you get about this distance away from the shot, we'll go just about 2 power, or just over. And you need to aim pretty dramatically to the left or right, depending on what side of this open hole right here. You see I just missed, but that's pretty pretty standard for the course. You're not going to hit through that shot every single time. And then a full power shot through there at any point, because you're, you're going to be too far away. And that'll be perfectly fine for the par. The three is possible. I haven't quite seen a two with new physics, so I don't know if that's possible at all. But don't feel bad about par here. I think it should be a par five. Just get your four, move on. Hole 15. This one can be a little bit tricky, but we'll go ahead and show off this. Go about three and like a tenth, like just the smallest little bit of over three. One tile up that hill to the right. And go ahead and follow that up with a full power. It needs to be full power shot. Where we bank off this far wall and go in. You'll see I miss it here. We'll go ahead and show it again. I do get slightly different points of aim every time I start from the beginning. Uh, there's a little bit of a weird bounce that occurs on the little platform, so I'll go ahead and show just a different variation of this. Like, it just feels like you get a different speed boost from this little platform. Just kind of explaining why I'm showing it and not hitting it. And again, I could have aimed more left here, I'm sure. You see, I get a little bit closer, but it is a very, very easy three with the two that is possible. Hole 16 was a problem hole. To combat this, we're going to go ahead and aim at this spot. But this power, if you go too far to the left, you will bounce off the central pillar. And I'll show. Get, I'll go ahead and show you that. Excuse me. You want to be right of this point. So this is an example to not do. You do not need to be super aggressive. So go ahead and just aim out, like a little bit to the right. You can go full power. You can go take a little bit off. You can take even more than this off. You're just trying to get to this spot over here. And it's not ultra specific. Now, it's always safe to go full power against the back wall because it, it will never go in. You cannot be close enough for it to go in unless you try to dunk it. But that brings up the case where if you hit the back of the hole, you can bounce out of the course. So it is less safe. But we'll go ahead and kind of keep playing and show you what some of the different shots look like real quick. Because this is such a specific weird shot that I wanted to show it. And because this was one of the holes that has been reversed and impossible to do now... We'll just go ahead and pop this off. Like I said, the full power shot off to the side. It will literally never be able to make it. But it's very, very safe. And we'll go ahead and get for the dunk, which is the riskiest of all the shots. But 
It basically has the same setup where we go almost full power, like the three and five, six type of power. Anyway, if you're within about a tile, you can go full power directly at the hole for the dunk. I know I spent a long time in that hole. I just wanted to make sure people understood what was going on there. And then hole 17, you'll see me shoot the same exact shot several times because I don't know how to hit this perfectly every time. It does appear to be pixel perfect now where we shoot at this exact point with just, just under full power. And if you end up right here where I'm ending up, and I ended up here for about all these attempts that you're seeing, it does take the one perfect pixel to get this hole in one. So do not be discouraged whatsoever when it doesn't go for you on the first try. A difficult shot indeed. Hole 18, speaking of difficult shots, we'll go ahead and go for a, again, another pixel perfect one to get close to the one. Be a very easy two from here, but you have to hit ex this exact point at full power or else it will not stay on the course and you'll get reset and you'll be completely not having a fun time. So we'll go ahead and reset from here. And what we want to do is aim at this urn that is just over the ramp that we're looking at, that one right there. We want to aim to the middle of it, just left of center, actually, to keep it a little bit safer. Full power, go ahead and let it rip. And the second shot is surprisingly consistent. There's the Anubis statue in the distance with the little pillar behind it. We're going to aim at the pillar behind that, as you can kind of see, at just about three and a third, closer to three and two fifths type of power. If you're aggressive, you could try to actually bounce it directly in the hole off the bounce, which I would recommend kind of doing because there's very few instances where that will hurt you. But we'll go ahead and kind of just let one go to see where it ends up. Ooh, just unlucky. I bounced off the front lip of the cup. A little bit more power would have dunked it, but obviously a nice recovery. And if you're ever down here, usually one power. And if you have any sort of, you know, deviation of right or left, you just kind of aim towards the cup side and then go one power, which for an easy enough three, a great chance at a two, and a very simple set of shots for you to hit. Nothing super high risk without you knowing what you're doing. And I think Oasis has been pretty much solved. Of course, we have to wait for any changes to the physics or just, you know, blocks stop uh, bouncing off balls and just allow them to, you know, go straight through them. Sometimes happens, but that's going to be part of the game. And it's always been part of the game, so hopefully I can get a few more guides out that are a little bit more par seeker friendly like this, but it's been great. I had fun making that, and I hope to continue to bring you guides like this. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.